Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we are back with today's lecture about the column chromatography that is rather liquid chromatography. So our uh, lecture is today about the column chromatography, the efficiency of the column. हमने बोला था कि क्रोमोक्रोमेटोग्राफी में कॉलम इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स जिसमें स्टेशनरी फेज होता है और देन मोबाइल फेज उसके ऊपर से पास करते हैं इन द जनरल टर्मिनोलॉजी तो वो एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द कॉलम कैसे कहेंगे कि दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्टिकुलर कॉलम इज एफिशिएंट या हमने जब सेपरेशन की एक सैंपल की उसमें चार कंपोनेंट थे तीन थे या वट एवर नंबर ऑफ पीपल स्पीशीज वी सेपरेटेड देम आफ्टर एन एक्सपेरिमेंट वी पास देम थ्रू द कॉलम नाउ हाउ वी से दैट कॉलम इज एफिशिएंट सो Efficiency of column हम कहते हैं in the terms that number one जब column से हमने जैसे हमारे पास कोई mixture था for example we had a mixture here this is let us say we have some chemical species present one two three let us let us see so this is our sample we are basically want to separate these through the column chromatography so we'll pass through the liquid column लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी और बेस्ट एग्जांपल आप ले सकते हैं स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड कॉलम क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड देन यू कैन मॉडिफाई दैट एज अ एचपीएलसी सो दिस इज स्टेशनरी फेज संदेह ऑफ मोबाइल फेज एक्चुअली पासिंग थ्रू दैट लेट अस से इट इज अ सॉल्वेंट दिस इज इट्स अ लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड देन दिस इज सिलिका जेल व्हिच इज बेस अटैच्ड हियर और पैक्ड हियर सो वी आर बेसिकली इंजेक्टिंग आवर सैंपल हियर दिस इज आवर सैंपल So we inject it here. So at the end, we are basically getting our analytes are coming slowly and steadily. Let's see two here, three, and then at the end, we are basically with help of detector, we are getting a graph. This we have seen in HPLC. That is your detector response. If it is UV detector, then this helps us. So and you do scale with that. This is retention time, seconds, minutes, whatever. So this is your retention time. So since you have three analytes, so you will get a graph like this. I'm going to give you a rough example. So let us say after a time period of five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, twenty-five, and this was thirty. So at when you the time period is five, that means that the retention time is five. So you are getting, let us say, peak number one, and light one. Then you want the peak here. Let us say it's in light two, and this is in light three. So this is our output from the instrument of the analysis. Now, so we have the data with us. Now, how can we say that our column has efficiency? Now, what is the efficiency of the column? So the efficiency depends on number one. That these peaks are adjacent peaks. These are adjacent peaks. Number one, that is the number one. Number two, that is the number two. Number three, that is the number three. Number four, that is the number four. Number five, that is the number five. Number six, that is the number six. Number seven, that is the number seven. Now the adjacent peaks. The best way is to express this in terms of adjacent peaks. These are adjacent peaks. You have, which you actually got, which actually means your analytes are separated. So these adjacent peaks, these are apart from what's the overlap. So, now we will express this in terms of so is there any overlap? Is there any merging of peaks? मर्जिंग ऑफ पीक्स क्या पीक्स आपस में मर्ज है क्या मर्जिंग या कह सकते हैं इज देयर नी ओवरलैप बिटवीन द पीक्स ओवरलैप ऑफ पीक्स एडजस्टेड पीक्स ये बड़ी सिंपल लैंग्वेज में हम ट्राइंग टू मेक इट अंडरस्टैंड हियर एट दिस लेवल सो इज देयर नी मर्जिंग ऑन बिटवीन द एडजस्टेड पीक्स और इज देयर नी ओवरलैप बिटवीन द एडजस्टेड पीक्स मींस ये पीक्स ऐसे भी हो सकती थी जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जांपल मे बी इट इज लाइक देयर बी लाइक दिस आपको दो पी कैसे मिल रही है इसका मतलब है इसका एक ग्राफ था दैट समवेयर लाइक दिस सो दिस दिस टू फिर बेसिकली मर्जिंग एंड देयर नाउ यू आर बेसिकली गेटिंग ओनली दिस पी कैन दिस पी सो यू आर बेसिकली गेटिंग पी लाइक दिस दिस आर बेसिकली टू दैट मींस द पीक्स आर मर्जड देयर मैक्सिमाइज आर मर्जड सो नंबर 1 व्हेन वी सी द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ कॉलम वी आर बेसिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट इज देयर एनी मर्जिंग और इज देयर एनी ओवरलैप इन द एडजसेंट पीक्स नंबर 1 और हम मर्जिंग के लिए ये भी कह सकते हैं दूसरी टर्मिनोलॉजी में दैट ये पीक का मैक्सिमम हो गया जैसे हमने कहा डिफरेंट स्पेक्ट्रस मैक्सिमम ऑफ द पीक दिस द मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमा ऑफ द पीक सो आई शुड से इज देयर एनी इज देयर एनी एंगेजमेंट 
you know, among the maxima of the adjacent peaks. So are the adjacent peaks, I should say in this language, are the adjacent peaks, if they, they have some engagement, are the adjacent peaks uh, engaged? Simple can get cap peaks up overlap. Now, if the peaks are overlapped, this means that the two analyte at the same time columns initiate. So that means we can think now that if peaks are so far away, that means now those columns they have came after you know the, the after a long time. That means they are well separated. So that means the column efficiency number one. When we say column efficiency, we are saying that whether the peaks are overlapped, whether the adjacent peaks are engaged, and how much number one. The second thing, when we see the column efficiency, which is in our mind, it is important. Hai. Ab now, let us say our peaks are well separated. Now, these individual peaks, hai, how much broad they are. Now, this is the broadening of the peak. This is a very broad hai peak. This is a very sharp peak. This means that the analyte 1, which was the same quantity present, thi, R2, it's coming down all at a sudden. This means that the column is not spread. It is not scattered or spread in the column. Mein. तो जितना ये जा, या ये, ये जैसे हमने एक, एक क्लास में हमने बोला था लेक्चर में कि समटाइम्स द अगर कंसंट्रेशन यहां ज्यादा होती है देन इट गेट्स डिफ्यूज टुवर्ड्स द द द दिस वॉल्स एंड दैट लीड्स टू द ब्रॉडनिंग ऑफ द पीक हमने एक क्लास में डिस्कस किया था यू कैन लुक बैक एट द लेक्चर्स इन द ऑन द वेबसाइट सो इसका मतलब ये इंडिविजुअल पीक्स तो सेपरेट हुई ना हाउ मच व्हाट्स द विड्थ दिस कॉल्ड द विड्थ ऑफ द पीक एंड द ब्रॉडनिंग ऑफ द पीक सो सेकंड थिंग इज how broad or narrow are the peaks or the peaks so obviously if broad peaks is ka matlab bahut zyada column is separated hai so they are like dragged in the column or agar aapka ye aap aise bhi understand kar sakte hain agar aapka cloud compound aap dekhiye to band bilkul no, it has scattered through or ye kahenge ki it has uh, no spread through so, jitna band concise hoga and at a time it will come down, that means it is better efficiency. So, so when you say the efficiency of column, basically we are dealing with the, we see that how much the peaks are separated are, their maximums are not engaged, they are disengaged and how much the, or the broadness of the peak. Fine. Now, so if we have, want to have our separation efficient, our column should be highly efficient. So, when we say the columns efficient, so for the efficiency of column we have, uh, some uh, relationship here. So for column efficiency, we can express the column efficiency in terms of. So when you see the column efficiency, you can express the column efficiency in terms of this relationship, which was given by Martin. Well, scientists actually did a lot of experiments on the separation into the fractional distillation. And various methods. So then I actually gave this relationship. He said that the call your column is efficient when you are n that is equal to factor k n over 16 and T R divided by W and then this is square. This is one of the important part of the equation that the n is the number of the assembly by theoretical plate may theory may have tha. Uh, rate theory, maybe I'm just going to discuss kiata. Please go through the lectures. Ki your, this is n, n is the number of theoretical plates. So n is number of theoretical plates. So that number of theoretical plates is called 16 multiplied. This is retention time. So this is your retention time. And this is W, which is the width of the peak. Width of the peak. So if N is more, your, that means your column has more number of theoretical plates. Again, if you have any idea of the theoretical plates, ka, shortcut, I have said that usually the column hota hai, its length is fixed. When length is fixed, let us say it is L. So we propose there are an imaginary number of very very you know smaller the length is very very much minute there are imaginary plates across the column they are basically imaginary this way you understand karthenki separation at the efficiency of column so length of each is let us say is uh, 
let's say this so this is capital L this is small L so we have column ki length fix hai, that's L length of each plate multiplied by the number of plates so if the number of plates is more we say that when this the height of each small plate is less now this height of each plate have nik pula thai h e t p height equivalent to the vertical plate so when this height equal to the vertical plate is less your column is efficient that means your number of vertical plates should be more so efficiency of column is better is good when your the vertical plates are more so they are more when your retention time of the analyte in the column so that is should be more and peak width should be less so it's come up retention time then so it will take the you know, enough time is there for uh, analyte to get to, to to manage that equilibrium to actually establish that equilibrium between the stationary phase and the mobile phase agar wo bahut less time hai agar retention time hai that means the column the moment you injected the sample it comes down so that means little this is the uh, retention time is less so retention time agar less hai to call peaks both close aayegi number 1 so that's where retention time should be more so width of the peak is less when the width of peak is less that means the analytes was spread in your column mein. so your number of vertical plates come zyada honge when the tension time is more and when the width of peak is less and they are raised to power the scar here so when the n factor is more that means your column efficiency is more that in turn means automatically that your HETP is less and we know when HETP is less that is indirectly related to the column efficiency when it is less column is more efficient because more equilibrium can exist in the column that means more efficiency so when the column is said to be efficient as per this equation or relation that when your number of theoretical plates is more so that is more when you have retention time for light is more and the width of the peak is less this width is called the width of the peak so now this column is said to be highly efficient and this is called as the goodness of the column goodness of column a term usually it's called goodness of the column column is very very efficient now if you go now in the second term is that if your retention time for analyte is less the case this was the case number one so case number one when your retention time should be more and your uh, fit should be less so column is highly efficient it's called as a good column or it's called goodness of the column so then we have a second thing that if your retention time of foreign light is less and then your width is more width of the peak it's come up the number of theoretical plates is less that indirectly means the height of each vertical plate is more that means the efficiency goes down so the column is said to be low efficient column or it is see that we see that the chromatogram is a poor chromatogram so in this way we see that this is a weak efficiently column low efficient column or the efficiency of column is low or we see it's a poor chromatogram so this is all about the basics about the the, the efficiency of column in a, a liquid chromatography yeah or we can say that we have you know mathematical relationship and then we have tangents draw and do a little bit but anyway that's not necessary so here I have tried to make it more concise here for the students or it can also help them in the competitive exams I believe this is enough for the column efficiency in the liquid chromatography that means either it is in the HPLC or the you are talking about the uh, column chromatography or talking about what our type of liquid chromatography so you can use this relationship I believe this is enough for the day so again you have any questions so please you can reach me here at this M A K A N D C H E M at gmail.com please do not hesitate to write on this or if you have if you need any type of lectures to be recorded related to whether it is UG chemistry or PG level or whether it is net or whether it is gate related exams so when you talk about the branches you can look at organic chemistry and organic chemistry physical chemistry and if you have spectroscopy 
you have you need lectures or like analytical chemistry and so on so you can please write down here you can write down the comments also this is all for the day